So the other thing is I want to talk about is um, <laughs> young women dating older men. Mm. Yeah, that's your topic. So I have I have girlfriends that um that have daughters and even some of them that date older men because um, you know they supply <laughs> they supply their needs at once and I'm sorry because I'm laughing because that's all I did all I did was date older men because number one they just seemed to be a little bit more mature for me and number two uh, I didn't like working and I'm just gonna be honest like Working was not for me. I hated it. I hated being on other people's time. And so dating an older man an older man provided me the ability to be on my own time and do whatever I wanted to do. And that's what I did. And I'll tell you, there were for me, I think, uh there were benefits. Sorry. <laughs> I just got a text. There were benefits to me, you know, doing that. But like the me today, I wouldn't suggest that to anybody. And the reason why is because you get those benefits with dating an older man and some girls even end up marrying them. And um, I mean, I did, right? I did. I married an older guy who was 12 years older than me. I did. I did that. And I think after that, I made up my mind that I didn't want any more older men. I wanted a man that would be in my age bracket so we could enjoy life together. And, you know, he wouldn't be so far ahead of me and then get all those. Uh, I just didn't want to have to take care of him right now. <laughs> I wanted to enjoy my time with him. Um, but, you know, older men benefit women in some way and, and married men. Um, but first, let me just say, it's not right to date a married man. Let me just say that right off the bat. It's not right to be in a relationship with a man that's already committed to another woman. Um, for whatever reason, you know, if you're thinking that he's going to leave his wife for you, he probably won't and if he end up doing that which is which is rare um, he's probably gonna do it to you more than likely he'll do it to you when I did it marry men and yes I did I used to date that's all I did it was marry men but when I did I never wanted to break up a happy home or break up a home period I didn't want to be the fault of I didn't want to be the fault of a man leaving his wife and children to be with me I never wanted that um, because I know what happens in those type of relationships it's heartbreaking it's, it's not a good thing and not only that I believe in karma it's gonna come back and get you you know, did it come back and get me? Yeah, it really did. It came back, it bit out chunks in my butt. And I suffered greatly for that. So I had to take that punishment like a woman. I think my, my first marriage lasted 10 months. <laughs> 10 months. And um, it was heart heartbreaking for me it was stressful I kept asking myself why is this happening to me now I finally finally married and but then you know what I realized I realized that um, we probably shouldn't we should probably shouldn't have been married and you know what the funny thing is is that when he asked me I told him no he asked me about four times and I told him no and then I was getting ready to 
to, to leave him and drop down to his knees and he asked me again and I think at the time I was doing it because we'd been together so long and he'd asked me like three times already and I thought well I'm still here with him and I mean I might as well right I might as well do it especially if I was in the process of changing my life I was going to church more and I felt like okay I might as well just do this and just live that life but and the reality was is that I should have stuck with my gut and said no don't but I'll tell you there were a lot of other people playing a role in that in that decision I made because I'm like this if you tell me not to touch that if you say don't touch this Karen and I ask you why and you say because I said so well to me that's not a good reason my mom used to do it all the time if you say don't touch this because it's hot and when you put your finger in it, it's gonna burn your finger off then I may not touch it because I don't want my finger burned but I think we, I had so many people telling me don't do this don't do that and if you do this blah 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 like they were like in my ear telling me pushing me not to do it this is what I said because I said it and I think that triggered something. I was like, okay, so they won't want me to do it because whatever the reason, it was crazy. So I'm doing it. It's why I did it. I did it because his mom and his family didn't want us to do it. <laughs> so I did it. I don't even think my mom wanted me to do it. But it didn't have a, a good reason for me not to do it. <laughs> so ladies out there when you are trying to tell your kids not to do something or to do something make sure you tell them why it's a good idea to give them your personal experience as to why what did it do to you i think that helps but um yeah i married him and it lasted 10 months and after that relationship dissolved i said to myself I, one, I don't, I'm not going to marry another older man. I don't care what they have to offer me. Two, I don't want to go in looking for a man that can take care of me. I want to learn to take care of myself. So any man that comes in adds to it. I don't want to be dependent on a man. And I know for some people that's probably going to be hard to do. But I'll tell you, when you learn how to take care of yourself, you can pick and choose the man that you want to be with instead of the man picking and choosing you. That's the difference. So I I didn't date a man because, you know, he can do this for me or he can do that for me. No. I made a decision that, hey, I'm writing on a list. This is what I want. This is what I don't want. And let me see who has what. It was kind of like an interview process. That's what I did. Honestly, when I met my husband, I think I met him on a, a dating site, believe it or not. I woke up one day and it was Saturday morning, I'll never forget. I woke up early, could have been like 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. And I just lie in bed and I thought, ah, when am I going to meet my husband? I'm so tired of being single. I'm so ready to spend my life with someone. I got on this app that a friend of mine had told me about. Made a profile. And um, I started going through. <laughs> I picked 10 guys. 10 guys. I instant messaged them. You know, chat them up. And, you know, say, hey, let's meet today. You know? And then I saw this picture of a guy that had a straw hat on. And it was the craziest photo because I thought, I mean, you know, it was different. His photo was different than what I'd seen on the website. And it wasn't that I wasn't going to ask him out, but I just sent him a message and I said, nice hat. That was it. The other guys, I was saying stuff like, you know hi uh, you want to chat or something like that but this guy I was just like nice hat and I let it go 
and I continued on my, I continued on my my quest and then as I got off the phone making my I want to say it was my fifth date he texted me back and he said hi or something I don't remember uh, what happened um, and I didn't respond I had at that time probably about I want to say about five dates set up and the other five because there were ten they were sick working they were those five guys came up with they had some excuses so I had five dates for sure and then one of the guys messaged me back and he said oh I have the flu I can't meet you today so when I saw Kevin text me I um I responded and I said what are you doing today you want to meet up <laughs> just because you know I figure five was a good number I guess and he said sure let's meet for yogurt and so we met <laughs> he was my he was the first date I had and we were gonna meet for yogurt at about 11 o'clock or tea and um no yogurt and uh, 11 o'clock so he would have been my first date and I had already committed about 10 minutes give and take for each guy um, to go through my interview process in my mind it was my interview process so I had these five interviews set up <laughs> and I drove got dressed drove out to meet him and let me tell you when I saw him immediately I wanted to put my car in reverse and drive away <laughs> he was when I met him he was not the guy that I would have chosen for myself because he had on like a baggy shirt I swore he had on flip-flops and socks even though he says no but I remember that and he just wasn't he didn't impress me and I thought why would this like this is the first time you're meeting someone and you don't even like dress to impress this person and I felt a certain type of way about that you know so I was just gonna put my car in reverse and I was gonna be like you know what I'm gonna pretend like I'm here for something else and I changed my mind but at the same time I was doing that, he came and knocked on my door and on my window and he said, are you caring? <laughs> and of course, what can I do? I can't say, I should have said, no, <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, and I came out and I said, the only thing in my mind was, I can't believe this guy came out to meet me like this. So number one, he was in dress for an interview. <laughs> we go into the place. And I already said, I'm going to be here for five minutes. When I finish drinking this tea, I'm gone. Because the yogurt shop turned into a Starbucks. But anyway, we sat down and he started talking. And I, I'm telling you, I didn't see anything that he was wearing. The only thing I saw was a really genuine person sitting across from me. And I was like, wow, like this guy, I mean, he was smart. I loved his smile. Uh, he was talking sense. And, and I must say that I hadn't, I hadn't seen that in a while from a man. Like he was really sharing stuff with me. And then I found out he'd only just met his dad. And he was showing me pictures of when he went to go meet him. And I thought, wow, like to just meet someone and just share that personal experience to me. I felt like he was just opening up to me and we just had a connection. So um, we sat there for three hours. All those the four other dates I had went out the window. I didn't meet anybody else. All I, I just met him and then that was it. But I say all of that to say this. Sometimes we have to come out of our comfort zone and the plans that we have in our mind that the person that we are going to meet is going to be this gorgeous guy, tall or however you imagine him to be and he's going to have a great job and a beautiful car and all those other things may not be the guy that God is have for you. 
And you just have to keep your mind open to receive whatever that is or whoever that person is. Because to find someone that really loves you and you love them back is a rare thing. And I think when young women go into it thinking, hey, I want this guy, rich guy. He can take care of me. He can take care of my kids. And that's where you lose. And I can't stress that enough. So go in there with an open mind and you just might be surprised. You might be surprised. I want to do a live video one day so that I can, you know, interact with you guys. Um, I don't know, when, when can we do that? Probably before Thanksgiving, maybe around Thanksgiving, maybe. Um, but I, I think I would like to do that. So what else can we talk about? Oh, I mean, I guess that was part of single women dating. Oh, but let me tell you this, single women, don't be desperate. No, don't be desperate. <laughs> Men can smell that from a mile away when you're desperate. You don't ever want to come off as being desperate for a man. That's the worst thing ever. They know how to take advantage of that. I re and I'll tell you this, I remember when I was single, I was in church. And after church, this guy walked up to me and he goes, God said you're my wife. And I looked at him, he was a nice looking fellow. I looked at him and I said, what, excuse me? And he said, God said you're my wife. Now inside, I was like, what? For real inside now, not out. Inside, I was saying that. I was like, what, for real, oh my God, he answered my prayer, finally, my husband had found me. But on the outside, I said to him, <laughs> I said to him, well, I surely didn't get that from God, because really, I didn't. I, I was just excited that somebody finally walked up to me and said that. <laughs> but um, I told him, I looked right in his eyes and I said, you know what, well, God hasn't said that to me. Sometimes you got to put on the front, you can't let people know that you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> but and he said, "Okay, well, you know." I said, "Yeah, so I'm a I'm a pray about it, and if I hear anything, I'll get back with you." And he said, "Okay," and he walked away. And I was just like, "Could this man be it?" And I started to pray, and I started to fast since I thought he was it. Turns out he was telling all the girls that in church. <laughs> Turns out he was telling all the girls that in church. So. <laughs> but 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 I'll tell you he did turn out to be somebody else's husband and they're perfect together but um, things like that you have to be careful for because you don't want to fall victim or prey to some to some guy that might walk up to you and say the same thing um, so single ladies be careful out there it's one thing to to be single and you know, looking for your husband or waiting for your husband and it's another thing to be desperate and just want to pick any man to be your husband because you're lonely, because you're tired of sleeping by yourself. Trust me, I've been there for like five years. Now some people might say that's not a long time, but to me, especially with my struggle, that was like eternity almost. It was long. It was so long to me. The only thing I think at that time I wanted to be married for was to have sex. That was it. I didn't really, I was like, I, I got to a point where I would have taken anybody. <laughs> and then I had to remember that um, I don't want anybody. I want a life partner. I want a man that I'm going to share the rest of my life with. Um, I want a man that will love my children, that will love me. And so I made that decision to just stick it out and doing the process of elimination. If I meet a guy and, and he wasn't, had had those qualities that I had on my list, cross him out. If I met a guy and he told me he didn't want to get married, 
cross him out because I want to get married. You know, and that's what you have to do. You meet a guy and, and he don't have certain qualities or he don't want to have kids and you do, cross him out. If you want to meet a guy and he don't have, he got too many kids and you don't want that, cross it out. You can't, don't settle for anything. Because if you settle, you'll find yourself settling till the end. You'll always settle. So, um, that's what I did. And, you know, I found happiness that I thought I would never find. Not only that, but I felt like I found happiness that I did not really deserve. I didn't deserve to be married to this wonderful guy. Sometimes I still feel like that. I'm like, <laughs> I have to wake up every morning and pinch myself when I look over and I see him there. And every morning he rolls over and he tells me how much he loves me. That's amazing because when I look at my life and my past and um, I really don't deserve that. I really don't deserve it. And I got it, you know, it is amazing. But you know what, it was not easy to get that. It wasn't easy. There were a lot of, we went through a lot of things and he put up with a lot of things. I mean, I did too, but I'm a difficult person. That's the first time I think I said it out of my mouth. I'm a difficult person. And to find someone that can deal with me, the real me, who I am, and um, I, I think there were many times he wanted to leave, right? But he never did. Even now, he, I honestly believe that he, he will never leave me. He would stay here. <laughs> he would stay here and, 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 and deal with me, and work with me, you know? He understands who I am, and I think that's because he put in the effort to understand who Karen is on the inside and all the stuff that I deal with and all of the personalities that I may possess and he deals with them and I'm so appreciative of him for doing that for putting up with me for um, for loving me the way that he does and he does it in such a, a beautiful way that um, I don't think there's I don't think I could have found another man that would have been able to, to, to do that. So when I look at him, I see my father in him. I don't mean my daddy, I mean my father. You guys are gonna get this. So I see my father in him loving me and saying, you know what, it's okay. You know, I love you. Doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter how you act. You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to love you regardless. Even if sometimes you don't want to love me back. That's who that man is. I love him for it. And I, I, I want I want a lot of you women, or most of you that are not in, all of you that are not in relationships, to have that type of love. Have that type of commitment from a man that is going to be committed 100%, that is going to deal with you, get to know who you are, the things that you like, the things that you dislike. You know, my first husband never knew it. I wouldn't say he never knew. I told him so many times, but he still didn't get it. I don't like mustard on my sandwiches. Can you believe that? I do not like mustard on my sandwiches. And there is mustard on my sandwiches. It's just those small things, you know? It took him a while to remember my birthday. He didn't know my favorite color. It's like... You know, and now I have a man that is intentional about all of those things. He pays attention. And let me tell you, it's scary sometimes. But I think I like it. I like that he pays attention to me. I like that he knows me. I like that he's okay with who I am and I can be who I am with him. You know, this whole videoing, uh, videotaping and YouTube stuff came from him. So, 
I have friends that will call me all the time and ask for my advice and stuff. And so sometimes I'll be on the phone with them for long periods of time. And, you know, through the years that he and I have been together, he's seen that. So he says, one day I came home and he says, listen, we're going to have a YouTube channel. I want you to talk to these young women and, you know, give them your advice and tell them about your life experience. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah. He set up the camera, got a mic, and he just, boom, sat me down there and I started talking. And that's the type of love that I have, that he gives me. And that's the type of love that you have to look out for. A man that has your best interest at heart. He sees what it is that you contribute and he adds to it. Um, that's the type of love that you want. And I think it's a rare type of love. This is something I've never experienced. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever been in love with a man until now. And I'm 40. So, I've loved men. And they love me. But in love, I never thought that really exists, right? But let me be the first one to tell you. It's not just Cinderella and Snow White that gets it. It's, it exists. And I would love my prayers for all of you to get that and every woman to experience that type of love. Um, because it is a very, it's a beautiful thing. So anyway, I'm gonna end this for tonight. I do have work tomorrow and I do need to spend some time with my family. So, Hit the notification button so that you know the next time I post a video. Leave a comment. I'm here because I want to give advice to anyone that needs advice, anyone that wants to listen. If you want my opinion, um, you're welcome to you're welcome to you know call me, text me, leave a comment, uh, and I will discuss it. All right, so. Thank you for sitting here in my couch with me, curled up with my cup of tea. I hope you had yours. Let's do girl talk next time. Uh, leave your comments, hit the notification, and share this video with other young women or anyone that you may think could benefit from what I've said. If you, I can go into details if you like. I just don't know if we have that much time, but you know, I can go into details. Tell me what you want to hear. And let's talk about it. You want to hear about my life? You want to hear about my past? You want to hear about my present? Tell me what you want. And I will be sure to deliver. See you next time. Bye.